everybody, welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Michaela and I'll be taking you through today's workout. We ask that if you're, this is your first time joining us, you either speak to your physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. So we'll start with a very quick warm up. We're gonna start with some neck rolls, nice and relaxed. You're gonna roll your head nice and gently around in a circle. You go all one direction to start and after a few we'll switch. And go ahead and switch directions. Nice and relaxed. Keep on going in a circle. Very nice. And we'll do two more. So here's two. And last one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do arm circles. So out to the side. Bring these arms forward. Nice and controlled. You can start small and bring the arms a little bit bigger as you go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Now switch directions. Now go backwards. And nicely controlled. You can start small, get a little bit bigger as it goes on. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up. You'll bring your arms in and out, all right? If you'd like to add in a lower body warm up as well, you could add in some steps to the side. You could add in some small lunge behind as well. You can step back, do a lunge. Always protect that front knee, making sure that you're stepping straight back so that knee does not drift beyond that front toe. Or again, you can add in some steps side to side, switch it up a little bit. And we'll go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, you widen your base a little bit to so get your feet just beyond that shoulder mark. And you're gonna go ahead and twist to one side and twist to the other. All right. You can have your arms nice and relaxed. You can even add a little bit of hip motion as you do it as well. And twist side to side. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, we'll do some heel to toe raises, all right? So I'll put this down so you can see my feet. You'll do start with some toe raises and then go into heel raises right after. All right, so you're going to go up onto your toes and then back on your heels, all right? So you can do this with some support next to you. If you would like to have a wall, countertop, something to help aid um, in your balance as you're doing it, feel free to have that extra support as you're doing it. So you go up on your heels, back on your toes. Yep, just like that. The key to balance is these soft knees bring, and bring your belly button in, engaging that core. Having a nice pelvic tilt. So that means shifting your hips down, bring your belly button in. Those two pieces, the knees and the core, very important to balance. One thing I always reiterate and we'll keep on. We'll do three more and three, two, and last one. Very nice. Next up, you'll get into your balance stance. We have four different balance stances. So you can go feet together. You can put one foot in front of the other. You can go with a heel to toe or a single leg balance. All right. You're going to get into your balance stance and you're going to hold it. All right. You're going to add in some nose touches. All right. So your arms out to the side. You're going to turn your head towards your hand, tap it to your nose and switch. All right. You go back and forth. Again, remember nice soft knees. During this exercise, it's easy to lock your knees, especially when you're kind of focusing on two different things at once, one with the nose, another with trying to balance. And you rotate side to side. And go ahead and switch feet. If you're on either a single leg or either one with the foot in front, you'll switch feet and repeat, all right? Same thing. Look towards one side, tap your nose, and go towards the other. And block it out. Very nice. And looking side to side. 
and five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, what we'll do is we'll do, you're going to tap out towards the side and then bring your heel towards your calf. All right. So you'll tap next to you, bring your heel towards your calf and repeat. All right. And you can feel free again, something next to you, in front of you to help you balance, but you'll tap to the side and back in, kind of like a ballet move almost. All right, keep this knee nice and soft when it's planted. If you've got more of a challenge, you can point that leg out towards the side, but don't place it back there and let it hover there and bring it back in, all right? That one will test your balance a little more. Or you can reset after each one by tapping that foot back down, all right? You can go to the side and out. And we're going to go ahead and do three more in three, two, and last one. Very nice. Feel free to shake out your legs a little bit. And then we'll switch legs. So now you'll take the opposite leg, tap it out towards the side, and then bring that heel and tap it to your calf. All right. So out to the side, tap to the calf, and repeat. Again, if you want more of a challenge, when you bring this foot back down, let it hover before the floor. Do a place all the way down and then tap towards that um, calf. All right. Add a little more challenge in there as you do it. Again, nice soft knee, belly button in. And don't forget to breathe. It's very easy to hold at your breath during all these exercises, especially when you're focusing so much on different movements and balance. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Always important to do that. We'll do three more and three. Two. And final one. Very nice. Next up, you need a set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, feel free to use any sort of substitution. You can hold in your hand, whether it's water bottles, cans of soup, or even just using the arm motion, all right? So we're going to be doing alternating front raises, all right? So with dumbbells in your hand, palm facing your body, going to raise this weight up towards your shoulder, back down, and switch. All right. So it's very important to keep your belly button in. You're going to engage your core. Only thing that moves is those shoulders. If you have any shoulder issues, you do alternating hammer curls. So elbows by your side, palms facing your body, curling up towards your shoulder, and back down. All right. If not, go into these front raises instead. All right. Nice and controlled. Again, keeping your core engaged, belly button in, that will help you um, with this exercise. If you have to really move the rest of your body in order to get this weight up, that means it's probably a little bit heavy. I'll have you go lighter in weight. I want nice controlled motions. Going up and down. We'll do two more each. All right, so here's two. And final one each. Perfect. Go ahead and set these weights off towards the side. All right. Next up, we're going to do a tandem stance with three steps. All right. So, how that looks, I'll get it to move it so you can see my feet a little bit better. All right. So you will start with, you can start sideways. So you'll start with one foot in front of the other. All right, you can have something to support if you'd like. You're going to bring your foot to the side, stand side by side, and then bring your foot behind you. All right, so you know, it's like a three-step part. So to the side and then to the front. All right, so you step in front, heel to toe, then to the side, and then straight back. All right, and then back, same thing, to the side and then to the front. If you want more of a challenge, you can skip that middle set and go forward to back, and then back to the forward, all right? So again, you can either rotate this leg, swinging it from the front to the back, holding it for a second, or you can add in a middle step and step, kind of reset yourself, bring back towards this front leg, all right? So you can step to the side, then to the back, or, forward, back, all right, and trying to keep your balance. Again, this leg that stays planted the entire time, nice and soft. So you can either 
three step it or all the way back. All right. We'll do three more on this leg. There's three. And two. And you got one final one. Very nice. Now we do the same thing on the other leg would be the one that swings, all right? So you'll start again one foot in front of the other. You'll bring it to the side so their feet together and then one foot behind. All right, and then same thing, back to feet together and in front. Or you can skip the middle step and go straight into the one foot behind the other and then one foot in front. All right, makes you think, <laughs> makes your brain work as you think of the sequence and the order, especially if you're going front, side, to back. And it also tests your balance. If you're going front and back, changing how your weight is distributed with your body. All right, again, the chest up, belly button in, soft knee. All right, you guys can hear that in your sleep <laughs> after how much I say it. I'm sure Pat says it too in his classes as well. Again, you can either front to back or add in that middle step if you'd like. We'll do three more. So here's three. And two. And final one. Very nice. Go ahead and shake out those legs. Next up, what we will do is now we will add um, arm and leg raises. So you're going to raise one leg to the side, back in. Same time, you're going to raise opposite arm up and down. All right, so opposite arm, opposite leg up and down, keeping it nice and controlled. Again, stay again. This is the leg that's planted, nice and soft. If you want more of a challenge as you come up and down, you can raise that leg up and down without resetting it. So you can let it kind of hover there as you go up, or you could place your foot all the way down and go into the next one. All right, up to you. No more of a challenge for you to try the ladder without having your foot all the way down. We'll do three more. Here's three. Two, and final one. Very nice. Shake out your leg a little bit. And now we'll switch sides. So now, you're on the opposite arm, opposite leg. So kick out to the side, back down, and repeat. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, good new dance move. Ready for all your holiday parties this year. Out to the side and in. And nice and controlled. And we're gonna go ahead and do three more. So here's three. Two, and final one. Very nice. Do a very quick hip flexor stretch, and then we'll do one more standing exercise before we move to the floor. So hip flexor stretch, you're going to separate your feet. All right, so you have a nice wide base. You're going to this back leg will stay straight, front leg is gonna be bent. You're going to kind of lean forward through this front leg, driving your hips forward, keeping your chest up, all right? So again, your hips kind of drive forward, bending into this front knee, and this back leg, you'll feel a stretch and that's straight, all right? When you're doing this, be cautionary. I don't want you to say if you're leaning forward, I don't want you to lean forward so that this knee goes over that toe. Say if you're leaning forward, you don't feel it, You'll just separate your feet a little more and then lean forward more, all right? So just make sure that your knee doesn't drift forward beyond that toe as you're doing it, all right? And you'll hold it. So again, everything's facing nice and forward. You can hold on to something to kind of give you a little more leverage, move something next to you, or you can rest your hands on this leg, or just sit up nice and tall. And we'll switch in five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly come back up, and now you'll switch. So now the opposite leg and back. Same thing, separate your feet. You want to drive forward through these hips, kind of leaning forward with it. You'll stretch the leg that is straight, chest up, everything facing forward, bending that front leg, all right? And again, you feel like you're in here and you have to bend too far forward, you're going to separate your feet a little more, all right? 
and you'll fold it. It's always good to ease into stretches as well. Don't forget the force on anything. You can slowly, as you notice, as you stretch, you might feel a little looser, get a little bit deeper into the stretch. So don't forget to force anything right away. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, our last one. We're going to do, you can have a little bit of space. You can do a tightrope walk, all right? Like you're on a nice tightrope. So you can give yourself a little bit of space. You really need space for three, four paces. You're going to do a heel toe walk going forward. All right, you can go a few paces. Then you'll turn around and go back the other way. All right, so heel toe walk. You can do it next to a wall. Kind of, you know, be there to kind of keep yourself upright. The closer you bring your feet together, the more challenging it is. So say if you go directly heel to toe, one in front of the other, it'd be more challenging. Or if you want to start off, you can even separate your feet out a little more. And as you get better at it, bring your feet closer together. Feel free to even add in a backwards tightrope walk as well. If you want to challenge, you can go backwards and then forwards. All right, if you want that little bit of a challenge. So forwards and then backwards. Or you can go back or forwards both ways, up to you and your comfort level. We'll do one more each direction. And the last one. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and take a very quick water break. Then we'll finish with floor exercises. You can do it from your bed, from the floor, on a mat, wherever most comfortable for you. Um, you will not need um, any dumbbells. And we'll meet back in a minute or two, all right? Feel free to take a quick water break, bring water with you. All right, as everyone finds their way to the floor, we'll, I'll start to explain this first exercise. So to start, you'll be on your back, all right? You'll be doing a bridge, all right, a glute bridge. So you have your arms by your side. You're going to push through your heels and you're going to lift up your back and hips up off of the floor or your bed. You're going to raise straight up. And a lower back down, right? I want a nice control movement. You're raising them up off the floor and back down. Nice and controlled, all right? And here we go. If you'd like a challenge, you can make it single leg and raise it up one leg at a time. Or you can go both legs, all right? We'll go for four 
40 seconds total, halfway through. I'll let you know you can switch if you're doing single leg, all right? And here we go. Just gonna raise this leg up, back down, nice and controlled. Don't forget to breathe. And it's also good to push through your heel, make sure that weight's through the heel. And go ahead and switch if you were doing single leg, keep doing what you're doing if you're doing both legs. And up and down, nice and controlled. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, so I want you to do a straight leg raise. So on your back of one knee bent, one leg straight. This toe will stay to pointed towards the ceiling. Arms by your side. Going to raise this leg up to the height of the other leg. Lower back down and repeat. All right, so raise it up, lower it down, and repeat as so. And here we go. So if you want more of a challenge, you add a slight pause at the top. Then when you get to the bottom, you can stop like right before the floor and raise it back up. That was more of a challenge, or you can just rest your leg down and go up to reset after each one. All right, nice controlled movements. So do three more. And three. Two. And last one. Very nice. Go ahead and switch legs. Same thing, that toe point towards the ceiling. And here we go. Raise this leg up and back down. Nice and controlled. You can focus on a pelvic tilt while you do this as well. So that's shifting your hips towards the floor, decreasing the space between the back and the floor. That will engage your core more. It'll also protect the back, giving the low back pain. Again, raise up, go back down. Nice and controlled. We'll do three more and three, two, and final one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do a stretch. So this one you can do, you're gonna bring your knee in towards your chest, all right? You can do it one of two ways. So you'll grab your leg behind your knee, bring it in towards your chest. You can either have this opposite leg bent or you can straighten it out, all right? You'll feel probably a little deeper stretch if it's straightened up, but if you feel it bent, feel free to do it that way. Or you can straighten it out, feel a deeper stretch, all right? You'll hug this knee in towards your chest. Same thing as the other exercises, don't force, um, you know, force a stretch. Feel free to, you know, slowly kind of um, ease into it as you hold the stretch and time goes on. And five, four, three, two, and one. Now we'll switch legs. Now straighten out the other leg. Go ahead and bend this one and pull it in towards your chest. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly let go of that leg. And our last and final exercise of the day, you can go on to your side. You're going to keep your hips stacked over to do clamshells. So with your legs bent, you're gonna have your feet together, planted together. You're going to lift up that top leg off the bottom one, keeping those feet together and lowering back down, right? Keeping these hips stacked over each other the whole time. All right. So you're raising up and lowering back down. You can either rest your arm under your head or a pillow. It's up to you. So you raise up and then lower.
lower back down, nice and controlled as you do it. Even add a slight pause at the top and then slowly lower down. You'll feel it a little more as you do it. We'll do three more and then switch sides. So two and final one. Very nice, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, feet together, hips stacked over each other, knees bent and raise up, lower back down and repeat. Making sure when your hips stack over each other, that means making sure they're in this nice position and you're not rolling backwards, but they're staying nice and even. And we'll do three more and three. Two and final one. Very nice. And that concludes Strong and Balanced for the day. Thank you everybody for joining.